We have a very cool jailbroken application. I hope you like it. App Judgment is brought to you by Netflix. Welcome to App Judgment, Revision 3's mobile phone application review show. I'm Mauricio Balvanera. Now, while the internet has its undies in a bunch over Apple's rumored tablet, the hacker community has already taken steps to make the iPhone a bona fide portable computer. Earlier this year at Maker Faire, I got a glimpse of Percept Dev's serial modem keyboard interface, which allowed you to type on a physical keyboard to enter text on the phone. The problem was it required you to carry around a $100 prototype box and you could only type text into a terminal app. Developer Matthias Ringwald of Wiimote fame has taken this concept a step forward with BT Stack Keyboard. It's based on the open source project BT Stack, which aims to give better functionality to devices with no or crippled Bluetooth support, like the iPhone. Now, for $5 at the Cydia store, you can use your Bluetooth keyboard in Safari, Mail, text messaging, Twitter, literally anything that allows text input. Now, if you're interested in installing BT Stack Keyboard, you will need to jailbreak your iPhone. You can do so by following my step-by-step -step instructions over at episode 44 of App Judgment. Thanks to Netflix for sponsoring this episode of App Judgment. With Netflix, you can rent over 90,000 titles online, including tons of Blu-ray titles, with free shipping both ways to your home. They have over 40 shipping centers, so almost all deliveries happen in just one business day. Netflix plans start at $4.99, and as a new member, you get a no-risk, two-week free trial membership. Check it out at www.netflix.com slash AJ. And remember to type the www when using this code. All right, installing BT Stack Keyboard is pretty easy once you've jailbroken your phone. Head over to the City Store and search for BT Stack Keyboard and purchase. You'll now have an app called Keyboard on your springboard. When you open Keyboard, your phone will immediately begin looking for available Bluetooth devices. Now make sure your keyboard is detectable and not being automatically connected to another device that it may be previously paired to. BT Stack is going to ask you to enter a four-digit PIN number once. Enter this PIN on your keyboard and your device is now paired and you won't have to re-enter the PIN ever again. And that should do it. Go for a test drive in this field, set your keyboard to the language here, then exit the program. You'll notice the keyboard app now says on in your springboard. Now get to typing. If the keyboard works within the BT Stack keyboard app, but not in other applications, reboot your phone. That's going to take care of any issues. It happened to me. The feel is perfect. There's no lag in text entry. Key repeat works great, and it works inside any application. Keep in mind that as of this version, cap lock doesn't work. There's no copy, cut, or paste, and BT Stack doesn't work on the first generation iPhone and iPod Touch for some unknown reason, but they're working on it. Now, it takes a little time to sync the keyboard, which makes whipping out the keyboard for a quick note pointless. But hopefully future releases will include auto-connect. Go to the URL below to keep up with further developments from Matthias Ringwald. That said, this is a definite download for your jailbroken iPhone and iPod Touch users. Give us a holler at facebook.com slash appjudgment and let the community know what Bluetooth keyboards you've been able to connect to the phone. Also, check out our growing number of mobile application reviews at revision3.com slash appjudgment. All right, I'll see you soon with more jailbroken goodies. Now I'm going to pull a Ron and walk off screen as I say something about why I'm walking off screen. <laughs>